Hey guys, Joe from JM Concrete here. So this week we are doing a 13 by 25 back patio. It's going to be a picture frame, checkerboard pattern, just normal gray. Um, stick around for the excavation, the rebar, the framing, my favorite part, the pour. I appreciate you clicking on the video. Leave us a like, subscribe. See you then guys. All right guys, so this job ended up being pretty straightforward. I had to come in and uh, chisel out the piers that were here from an old deck. Customer had torn it all out. He re reset the siding, repainted everything. I mean, he did a bang up job, cleared out all the organic material. After that, what I ended up doing was, uh, since there was a lot of nice grass around and the customer was wanting to make sure that we only dug up as much as we needed to, I ended up framing it out first and then popping off the form on the end. And then after that, I came in with the skid and scraped off all the grass, went past a little bit to get the roots. People forget that not only should you get the grass, also scrape out a little deeper to get the roots that were growing under the grass but it was a no hard job for the 85 and this was the week i got the 100 too so see you next week on that everything where i wanted to So like most jobs in Colorado, you're usually dealing with a cohesive soil before you have to deal with your road base. In this situation, we really had that. Uh, we water it a little bit so it doesn't get too dusty. And I went around a few times with a jumping jack just to make sure that the soil under the road base was solid. And then I went over with a plate compactor, even though it's not meant for cohesive, just to kind of flatten out any little bits I missed. <clears throat> Came in with about three to four inches of road base. Uh, started laying it out, watered it, compacted it with a plate compactor. <clears throat> so the thing was here that we were originally going to be above the window well, framed around that. And my dad pointed out, well, why don't you just go to the window well? It's only half an inch difference or close to an inch difference. I said, sure, why not? So we ended up laying all this stuff out, uh, grading it out. And then after that, we changed the grade. So I had to regrade it again. But at the end of the day, we were able to go right to the window wall, which made the whole design kind of easy, more aesthetically appealing instead of having the concrete higher than the well. But uh, there it was, guys. I mean, it was pretty straightforward in terms of the soil prep.
around this time in the morning is when I got a call from Bobcat telling me that I had finally gotten my MT100 in. Been waiting a few months for it, so I was so happy. Just wanted to let you guys know. Um, again, shout out to BNN uh, Rebar Tools. They just it helps my wife just fly through this tying things up. Uh, makes her go as fast as your typical two or three guys just with the normal wire spool. So it's always nice to know that she can just fly through these uh, uh, rebar days so we can get back home quicker. All right, guys, prep is done. Let's take a look. There it is. Rebar is in place. We're going to be taking this middle form out and then going in through there and catching all the sides. That window well is really going to mess with the pattern because, well, I mean, what are you going to do about it? But there we are. We're a little bit over 13 by a little bit over 25. Looks good. We are good to go. Pretty simple, to be honest. I will see you guys tomorrow at the pour. See you then, guys. One thing I can never deny, at least personally for me, uh, I will always be the most impressed by a checkerboard pattern with uh, the reshined uh, border and edges. It just takes a lot of coordination from the crew that you're working with. It always has to be a very efficient team. As for stamping, I mean, uh, the, uh, all the proficient concrete guys can do stamping but i've seen even the proficient ones fail at doing this correctly so whenever it does come out right like it did here i just love how the pattern looks and i like the customer's reaction when they get to see the sun shining on it and seeing that checkerboard pattern um, Hey guys, Joe from JM Concrete here. So pour went well. We poured at nine, four thousand, four inch slump, microfiber, one percent uh accelerant. Came out really nice. Check it out, guys. Came out really good. I mean the pattern went in well. It cured very evenly. So we're gonna come back this evening to cover it and then uncover it tomorrow morning. We're kind of threading the needle on the temperature. Most guys wouldn't care, but we, do, we just want to be safe, you know. You don't want to come back to concrete that's spalling. There it is, guys. Next week, we are doing a pretty long driveway with a city apron between a sidewalk and a curb. So we will see you then. Don't forget to leave us a like. Don't forget to subscribe. 
Thanks, guys. See you next week. So after that pour, I got a call from our friends over at Greenscape Landscapes. They had gotten something a small prep for us. So I called up the guys, the concrete, the pump, finishers. Everybody got ready on the fly real quick. But we ended up pouring this little, um, uh, it was like these planners type things for a customer. Uh, we ended up uh, making the outer, outer perimeter flat and then with the little slope inside to the drains. I mean, give me your input on this, guys. Uh, I didn't do any of the prep. We just came in and poured. Uh, I think it came out nice, and uh, I was just grateful I had more work for the week. It was a good way to finish the week, that's for sure. ¿Cómo andamos, primo? Ahí traigo un nivelito, ¿cree que le dé el nivelito para estar chequeando? Sí, yo creo que sí. Que para que quede una and after we got about a foot of the perimeter completely flat level and the slope into those drains, I uh, went around and put one rebar into the concrete every about 26 inches, 8 inches from the outer perimeter, just so when they laid their block for the planters, it would have a way to lock into the base that we poured. Um, all in all, it was a great idea in my opinion what they did with these planters. I wish I could have had more hands on with the prep myself, but we just got hired to do the pour and I think it came out pretty good and the guys over at Greenscape actually did a pretty decent prep anyways. So I was glad that I didn't have to do too much work on the pouring side because they got their side done uh, right. Alright guys, well, uh, see you next week. Thanks for watching and have a great day.